It is so easy to apply a video transition or an audio transition to multiple video clips in one go. If you are creating a medium to large video with a lot of the same transitions used for many clips, you will really appreciate this tip and your hand and fingers will thank you for it. Let me show you how in a moment. Let's do it. Take the stars out of the sky for you. Stop the rain from falling if you ask me to. I'll do anything for you. Your wish is my command. Okay, here we are in DaVinci Resolve's edit tab or edit page. And let's click effects library. We have video transitions and audio transitions. What I want to point out first before we apply any transitions to multiple clips, I just want to show you what the default transitions are. If you go to video transitions, right here where the red mark is, that's the defaulted transition, video transition, and it's the cross dissolve, which I like. I like this cross dissolve effect. It's very um, easy on the eyes. And for audio transitions, let's click audio transitions. And the red mark here shows that the crossfade zero decibels is the default. You can change this by selecting another one, say the crossfade negative three decibels. You just right click that and set it as the standard transition. See, now it changed to that. Same thing with the video transitions. If you want the blur dissolve to be the default, just right click it and set a standard transition. But let me get back to the cross dissolve as the default set as standard. Okay, so now we've set our default transitions. Let me zoom into the timeline to make it a little easier to work with by clicking the plus here. So there was no transition going from here to here, right? It went straight from that to that, no transitions. Normally when you add a transition, say the video transition, you drag it from here. Let's select the cross dissolve and drag it right there to the middle of the two clips. Now you'll have a cross dissolve transition. Let's play that. Okay, if you're working on a large project with a lot of clips, and if you want the same video transition for all of them to connect all your clips, you're going to have to drag that to there that to there, that to there, that to there. And as you know, if you're working on a large project, your hands will start getting tired. You're gonna start suffering from like the carpal syndrome tunnel, whatever you call it. Your hands and figures wanna take a break, but to make this easier, to help you out with those bigger projects with the same transitions and multiple clips, all we have to do to make it easy on your hands and your time is one command. You wanna select the range of clips you want to add the transitions to. So here, let's add it to all of these. So I'm just gonna click somewhere here and create a rectangle to encompass the entire selection. And now if I do Control T for transitions, bam. It just added all the default video transitions between each video clips and added the audio transition cross fade negative three to the audio clips in one go. I mean, it, that was so easy, right? And there's two other ways to do it. Let me do a control Z to undo. Now, if you only wanna do the video transitions, it's not control T, it is alt T. And it added the default transition of cross dissolve to the video portion of the clips. It did not add the audio transitions. I'm going to control Z out of that, undo. And for some reason, if you wanted to add just only the audio transitions to the entire group, so select it again and just do a shift T, shift T, bam. Now only the audio transitions were added between each clips. That's it. That is how easy it is to apply your transitions to multiple clips. Okay, let me show you what it looks like in full screen after I've applied the cross dissolve to all these clips. Let's click Control F for full screen and play it. See the transition? Another transition dissolve. 
Okay, so that's how it works. I hope this helps you save time and also helps give your arms, fingers, and hand a bit of a rest. And that concludes this video. I just want to let you know that it's my goal, my driving purpose to help people turn their passions into success. Whether that means creating a like-minded community to engage and connect with, or building an online business that will supplement your income, or the potential to replace your current salary by leaps and bounds, giving you the freedom you've been seeking. I have spent years studying successful people and small businesses. I've identified the tools and techniques they use and I want to share them with you. It would be an honor for me to be one of your crew in your journey to make those dreams a reality. Some dreams are measured by money, some by freedom, friendships, charity, whatever it may be. If an effective online presence can help you get there, then you might want to give me a chance to help you with that. To do so, simply subscribe and visit my website at sharingyourpassion.com and check my growing library of tutorials that assist people like you build an online business from home, which is quite relevant and desirable in today's world. Thank you. Words cannot express how much you mean to me. There must be some other way to make you see. Oh, you to me are